So look, bro. Um, consistent ghost in the building. Kind of got knocked off for a while. It's a lot of y'all not on my Instagram and y'all not on my other reaction channel. Uh, to where I kind of broke down the NBA Youngboy video. But um, yeah, my mom, my mom passed away. You know what I'm saying? Probably like, and it's crazy because tomorrow will already be 10 days. But my mom passed away and that, and that, it just messed me up. I couldn't really, you know what I'm saying? And everything just knew to me, planning funerals and just, so it kind of knocked me back for a minute. I know y'all like, bro, what happened? What happened? What happened? And that's what happened. But we back, you know, none of this can't stop. Bills don't stop. With the reaction channel, with the reaction video. How straight into it though. This that core TV. Oh yeah, another thing. I'm gonna leave a link to my other channel. Y'all remember I told y'all I'm gonna do them DJ Go shorts and all that. I got a channel for that, bro. And I think that's gonna be my dopest channel. No lie. But um, I'm gonna leave that in the description. Other than that, hope y'all having a better day than me. And yeah, we to the core TV videos. Let's go. We're in Greenup, Kentucky where court is back in session after bringing in a new year. Happy New Year to everybody. Hold up. Damn, I thought I was tripping. Y'all see that white screen on the wall? I thought that was the window. <laughs> I was gonna say, why the window so big, bro? You want somebody to escape. We're in green <coughs> time, where court is back in session after bringing in a new year. Happy New Year to everybody. Bro, up in there with a smile on his face. Happy New Year to everybody. The only one that's having a Happy New Year is the judge, because I promise you, if you're the defendant and you fighting for your life up in there, and that's the first of the New Year, this is already the worst year of your life. You know what I'm saying? Happy New Year. Starting the year off bad, bro. It's not, it's not going to be okay. That's Judge Robert Conley. He's been on the bench for more than 20 years and appears to be happy to be starting another. First up, a probation revocation hearing. Michael Ferner. The Ferner. defendant, Michael Ferner, owes more than $9,000 in overdue child support to his ex-wife. And according to his ex-wife's lawyer, he's failed to follow his court-ordered payment program. This is what I don't get, bro. I mean... With the child support situation, all right? Take care of your kids. That's all you got to do. And if you don't take care of your kids, the judge, the people are not going to show you no sympathy. And the messed, thing, the messed up thing about child support, bro, that's my dog back there, man. The messed up thing about child support is sometimes you won't see your kids for months on months. So you still got to pay it every month. And guess what happens if you don't pay it? You're going to jail. Don't be one of them weird dudes up in jail that's in there for not taking care of his kids. AKA not paying child support. That's a messed up feeling, bro. Especially, look, hey, bro, what you in here for? Psh, I just, they got stories. You know what I'm saying? I jumped off the roof, ran on the police car. I stole some chips. I, what you do? I ain't take care of my kids, bro. I ain't. Pay, just pay the child support. There's no way you can get out of that. No lies. I lost my job. My religion won't let me. None of that, bro. Just pay it. So just pay it. It has been a rough year. I mean, I had three boys at home. My wife works full time. We didn't have a babysitter. And that's another thing that makes females furious when you take care of your other kids, but not hers. You know what I'm saying? At least black females, <laughs> I don't know. When you take care of them other kids, and most of the time, them kids probably not even yours. He got three females, one of them probably his girlfriend. He's taking care of all them kids, but not your body, you know what I'm saying? That make her pursue the child support. Let me put y'all up on game, all right? Child support every month, you gonna pay some hundreds. Probably a couple thousand, right? But most baby mamas, no matter how mean they are, listen to me, no matter how mean they are, how up they sit, uh, upset they get at you, if you pick your son up, you pick your daughter up once a week, twice a week, make sure you buy her some, cool, uh, some shoes when she need them, make sure her, her birthday is straight, her Christmas is straight, and you come around, bro, you call her, you FaceTime her, the mom is not going to sweat you. 
Nine times out of ten, the mom is not gonna sweat you. And all that's probably only costing you like two or three hundred dollars a month. It's being in the kid life that they really want. It's money on the side because they be greedy, but if you just around and you trying, bro, she's not gonna trip on you. It's when you not around hers, but you wanna take care of your other ones. I'd be mad too, bro. If my baby mama not messing with my son, but she's messing with her, you, you, you get what I'm saying? After hearing the defendant's explanation, it's possible Judge Conley could give him a break to start the new year. Can I ask you a question? What kind of person has three kids when you can't even take care of one? Whoa! My kids are grown. They're 21 and 19. But they're living at home. What the judge said, that wasn't even that bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where our boy messed up at is when he went, look, that was like, why you didn't pay your child support since 2019? Bro said, I got three kids at home. Then the judge said, if you got three kids and you can't take care of this one, what are you doing, bro? Then he going to say they 21 and 19. He was looking for the sympathy card. That's why he said he got three kids at home the first time. Not buying it. I thought the judge was finna be on some bush, which he probably is, but he not finna let bro slide with nothing right now at all. Caught in a lie. Well, not a lie, just a, a fake sympathy. Yeah. I've got three little ones. Five kids. It's over to the client. Judge, your order is 238 plus $50 to order. You gotta be playing, bro. You mean to tell me my guy is up in court for $238 a month? Everything I was saying, I was like, it's gonna cost like two or three hundred dollars a month if you in a life. If you're not in a life, probably about seven hundred to eleven hundred a month. Bro not in a life and still only got, yeah, take him to jail. He not in a life and still only got to pay $238 a month. This is a bum. This is a clown. He look like he drink all that money up. My kids are grown. They're 21 and 19. But they're living at home. No, they I don't live with their mom or anything. I think I've got three little ones. Five kids. Five kids. It's over to the client. Judge, your order is 238 a month plus $50 to order marriages. Well, it came next what is a rages? You know what? You just need to shut up. Yeah, I know he capped. The judge know he capped, but this dude is not professional. A bro came up in that courtroom with a smile on his face, talking about Happy New Year to everybody. And I told you, somebody in there ain't having a new year, and it's the dude right there in the blue, the defendant. The judge is so foul on this, bro. He know he a higher up. He's sitting in a higher chair. He got a better education than him. He make more money than him. So he's going to belittle him in front of everybody, bro. At the end of the day, it's a man, it's a man, it's a man, it's a man. You know what I'm saying? Get that man a law how you want to do it and read it out the book, word by word, textbook. Remember to whatever, bro, but don't come out and tell him to shot. And that's why I'm saying being the man comes. And this position right here, if he wanted to be a man like he's supposed to be, and he's telling him, no, you shut up. The judge got the power to give him more time or make him pay more money. You see what kind of position he in? So are you going to shut up and not do nothing? Or are you going to man up and get more time? Scandalous, bro. System, man. The more you talk, the more ridiculous you sound. And just like that, the judge's New Year's cheer is out the window. Right. Send him to jail. Send him to jail. Wow. Don't talk all you want over there, okay? Talk all you want. Wow. What should happen next is our boy get a new judge because how you gonna slam the gavel and tell him send him to jail when you ain't even tell him what his sentence was? You gotta give him a sentence. Man, this is scandalous, bro. I'm scared of the police. I'm not lying to y'all. So when the police pull my heart, it's not finna go good for me, bro. I am scared of, they can do what he want. Send him to jail. Throw the trash out. Make, he about to come, to, it's 6.58, he gonna be here at seven o'clock. Just throw the trash out, hurry up. The dumpster, he, 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 put it on the side of the curb so the trash man see it right there on the curb, right there on the side of the curb, right there. Right there on the side of the curb. That's how he treating this boy, like straight trash, you know what I'm saying? As Michael Kerner's taken into custody, Judge Conley issues a stern directive to everyone in the courtroom. When I'm talking, you better be listening. I only talk if I'm wanting you to know something. Don't try to talk over me. It's 
the most ridiculous thing in the world. What you did. I'm not saying anything. You better be damn listening. Square in high school, I promise. Square in high school, I promise. The lady next to him is baffled. Even the DAs, everybody that's on his side is like, I can't believe bro is tripping like this. You know what I'm saying? They got something to tell their colleagues on their next break. They finna call their wife, call their husband at home. All right, I promise you, bro. Take him off the case, bro. Y'all got to give him a new judge. 20 minutes later, he calls defendant Gary Willis forward. Unfortunately for Willis, he's also here today for failing to pay child support. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was paying it. I just missed a court date. I got caught up Thanksgiving. He absolutely forgot. What am I supposed to do? What does the victim? The victim. The victim of your case. The ones are mine. Are you serious, bro? <laughs> My guy didn't get none last night. He gonna say, I hope everybody's having a good new year. When inside, he trying to cover it because he had a bad one. He didn't come in the New Year's and get some twat. Was his wife wasn't? Why he so red, bro? You that mad? Look at his face. It looked like he was like somebody was pinching him on this. Pray we don't get a judge like this. Traffic court. He giving all life sentences. I promise you, he is. I promise. You. I have to hear. I have to answer to them. They say, Judge, he doesn't pay. Why, what are you doing about it, Judd? Why dating a young Latin woman is a good option? Judge, what are you doing? <laughs> do us both a favor. And do what you're supposed to do. That may be good advice, but it turns out Judge Conley's delivery of the message left something to be desired for the Kentucky Judicial Conduct Commission. Yes, sir! Following the two cases, Conley received a public reprimand after an investigation into his <laughs> Yeah! That's saying, where they slept on the wrong side of the bed, yada, 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 yada. He didn't really sleep on the wrong side of the bed. I'm telling you, these are woman problems he having. He not underpaid. He don't feel like he's overweight. His coffee wasn't cold. None of that. Bro got women problems. That's why he came to court like that. I promise Judge you. Robert Conley ultimately accepted the public Rare reprimand. <laughs> admitted his behavior was inappropriate and issued a public apology. Public recommend, reprimand, but we went through this last time on the other thing and I told y'all, bro, I'm not one of them dudes that act like he know everything. What do a public rep, a public apology? Or did he step down publicly or what? Cause if he's still there, he, he's square, bro, he's straight square. Now to Durham, North Carolina, where Judge James Hill is presiding over a child custody case. What's up with everybody not taking care of their kids? Divorced parents Rashauna and Colin Morrison have been going at it quite personally in the courtroom. I'm angry that his dad lives in Durham, can go on vacations with friends, pay mistresses out to eat, pay prom vacation, and can't seem to see his son. Something that was probably already planned, though. I mean, let's keep it one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it 100, bro. Look, check this. I hate, and, and females always want to act like they wouldn't do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? What they, what y'all don't see, bro, is the females, they drop the kids off at their sister house, their homegirl house, their neighbor house, the dude they messing with house, their co-worker house, or they go to the nail shop, to a barbecue, to a club, to another club, to another club, and to another club, bro. But then they want to get mad. Dudes out there is bums. Don't get me wrong. They don't be taking care of their kids. They don't want to pick them up. They don't want to see them or none of that, right? But let's keep it 100. If today is January, what, 7th, and then tomorrow, January 8th, I plan a trip to go to Hawaii May 8th, and then you tell me to come pick up my son and spend time with him, <laughs> let's weigh it out for real. I love my kid to death. Go to pick a vacation. Nah, this is already planned, bro. I'll give him another 364 days in the year. Well, not 364 days. It's going to be all right with Hawaii for a couple of them days. So, if I had 361 days, maybe. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do me. She straight up said he was out on vacation with his friends. He was out, man. And so what? What you was doing this whole time? Just sitting in the house watching him watch Dora? 
No, you wasn't. He was dropped off somewhere, bro. The child's mother, Roshana, claims her ex-husband abandoned their three-year-old son and failed to pay child support. He argues she withheld his son from him and is seeking permanent custody. Mm. And the judge? Well, he isn't happy with either of them. I don't care less about it. <laughs> right, it's the kid. And he's about to let them know it. Two parents, and I'm going to choose my words very carefully. Two parents can come in and act like such idiots. Wow. No one wanted to crawl into bed and have sex and make that baby. He didn't ask to be born. That's a fact, bro. You are your son. You are your daughter's superhero. No matter what they do when they get here, they done messed up the car, bro, the house. They done put the whatever they did that you don't like. One thing about them is they did not ask to be here. They didn't come here and ask you, hey, can you be my mom? No. Nah. It felt good that night when you was laid up in the bed, bro. You thought she was stick to him up. You know what I'm saying? You thought he was cute. Oh, he had some. I'm gonna let him hit there. You know what I'm saying? And y'all did that and now y'all got y'all got the junior or the little baby. Take care of it. You know what I'm saying? The judge is a little vulgar, but at the same time, they grow, man. They can handle that. I just wanna let them talk to me like that, but they he ain't he ain't too bad. But he was. What's important is and you don't need to see two adults acting like idiots. Did I say the word idiots? <laughs> he did. Three times. Afterward, Judge Hill turns his attention towards Roshana. I have no doubt that you have withheld that little boy. Don't, don't you oh my God, this is the first time in history. I promise you, this is the first. Why y'all calling my phone like that? Leave me alone, bro. I'm recording videos. But look, this is the first time in history I hear that the judge is actually blaming the mom and accusing her of withholding the son from the dad. Actually, I believe that you holding the son from the... What? Bro, is a G, homie, right now. I'm not even going to lie to you because you do not see this up in court cases, bro. You don't. Yeah. Yeah, bro was up in his feelings that he trying to run the court room. At first, I'm like, this is the G homie. Now, let me take the G away because he kind of just a homie now. But now you, you, you kind of losing respect, bro. Just go ahead and let her do her thing. If that was me, I would have had to do that 48 hours because you're not going to tell me to say one more word, say one more word. Because I'm so smart, I would have been like, one more word. I would have said exactly that. And it went to jail. So what? <laughs> what y'all going to do? Give me life for saying one more? These judges is tripping right now, bro. Roshona eventually quiets down. And finally, after three heated days in the courtroom, the judge delivers his decision. Both parents are fit and proper persons have custody the amount of child on their own joint custody. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. This one I'm not getting. This one I'm not getting. This one I'm not getting. When she first came in there, she told the judge, he out here going on all these vacations and he ain't trying to see his son, right? Unless I'm tripping. It's not that bomb. He going on vacation, he's going here with his friends and not trying to see his son. Now, when a judge awards you joint custody, meaning half and half, meaning 50% of the time is going to be with him. Since he don't see his son, now 50% of the time of his life, he's going to be with his dad. You got something to say about it? You tell him to take you to jail? Make up your mind, woman. Females be difficult. Like, what? Where, where do... Come on, bro. Yeah. Officers try to restrain her. Morrison's brother, Sherrod Smith, comes forward from the back of the courtroom. At first, he tries to help by calming down his sister. But when that doesn't work, 
and Roshana throws a bail off a right hook. Big Brother's caught in the middle. Officers try to restrain him, but he sends one of them flying. Oh! Bro did the Conor McGregor. Yeah, he was like, oh, he be doing that in the gym, bro. My boxing is 100, but my UFC is like 2%. But that he did that, who? Did he look left or right on that one? What is that? Bam, bam. bam. Hold on. Do we do the bam, bam or the boo, bop? Let me see that again. Cause oh boy flew. Oh boy flew. <laughs> but when that doesn't work, and Roshana throws a bail off a right. What happened? What happened? What happened? Brothers caught in the middle. Officers try to restrain him, but he sends one of them flying. With a laugh. The McGregor. Meanwhile, the judge makes a quick exit. <laughs> we don't want no small. <laughs> Another puts her brother in handcuffs. You see that, bro? And here come even more officers to shut things down. <laughs> As more Stop manhandling me. Away, you going to jail? Person is also restrained in the back of the courtroom. Their mother. You should have been your Smith and his mother are hit with 48 hours in jail. That ain't Assistant none. Public officer. That ain't Morrison none. Receives 30 days. That ain't none. Morrison and her husband now have a joint custody agreement. Judge James Hill received a public reprimand by the North Carolina Supreme Court for improperly exercising his contempt power, right. failing to maintain order and decorum, and making inappropriate comments. Public reprimand in the condom. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm about to do <laughs> in the comments right now. Let me know what that means, man. I'm gonna catch y'all next time. DJ goes, what up?